Hi Capricorn, this is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot with your love reading for January 2018. Happy New Year. Please visit my website, moonpietarot.com. I have two special readings that I'm running. One is the 2018 Year Ahead reading, and the other is how the other person feels about you. So you can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook under Moon Pie Tarot or at Moon Pie Tarot. Um, for weekly general readings, I like to put them up there. Or if you need to get in contact with me, you don't want to wait a, up to a week for a reading, you can download the Instant Go app from your iPhone app store. And you can call me on this app from 4 to 8 p.m. Eastern Time. We can chit chat and you can get a live reading from me. Or you could just chat or text if you're on the go to get answers to quick questions, okay? So we'll get started with your reading. Just so you know, I am using the Crystal Visions Tarot deck by Jennifer Galasso. And I really love this reading. I think it's fantastic. Okay, Capricorn. So I just want to tell you, your reading looks great for January. I don't know what you did last month or what's going on, but everything looks beautiful. So far, so good. So are you juggling a couple of people, Capricorn? Have you been out dating? Um, actually, I don't really feel like you're juggling a couple of people. I think you're trying to make decisions about certain things in your life. You may have a couple of issues that are, have, are coming to the forefront in January that you may need to take a look at or, or make, find a way to, to make them work at the same time. Um, You're kind of finding a way to go with the flow. I don't really feel like you want to make a decision. I think you're just going to kind of, going to kind of keep the balls up in the air um, as long as you can, right? Okay, so you have the King of Cups. Now, this could be a water sign or um, this could be a Libra because the King of Cups can represent Libra someone that you have been giving a lot of time to or there's been reciprocity now this is for some of you but you've been single okay so this is the overall energy that's happening here um and so what is it that you're you know keeping up in the air that's the question now the past position you have the knight of pentacles so this is a slow moving energy Things have been just going very slow for you in your love life. and But still progressing forward, so I think that's wonderful. Bringing you to the higher font. And so some of you may be married or dealing with someone who's married, who's trying to offer their love to you, but it's just a bit of an obstacle, either because you're married or you're trying to offer yours to someone because they're married. It's making it difficult. Or you want a committed relationship with someone but this energy is just blocked this knight of cups probably because the knight of pentacles is behind it and the knight of pentacles just likes to be sure before he or she makes a move they they check and double check and recheck everything okay what is driving you this ace of wands in the tower you want change in your love life you want a fiery hot passionate sex fiery hot passionate energy you want fun you want spontaneity you want everything that goes with that look at all that red that's what you're looking for and with the tower card you're ready for it like if your life just if you meet someone you're ready to just go to just jump if you're single there's you're not going to put any thought into it because i feel like your love life has just been dragging on if you're single or you've just been feeling like, oh, is it ever going to get to this point where I want it or to this point where I need it? Now, this Knight of Cups energy doesn't have to be a person. It really could just be uh, love is taking forever. Where are my proposals? Where are all my dates? That kind of stuff. Now, on your mind, you have this King of Swords. So again, that could be Libra or Aquarius or Gemini. This is someone that's on your mind and they're showing up here as well. The King of Cups 
or it's a water sign that has that air element or you've got two people you've got one coming in who's a king of cups water sign or libra or you've got and you've got someone else on your mind and that could be could be the reason for this two of pentacles juggling so you might actually you might actually have someone presently from before and you've got someone new coming in and i don't feel like you want to make a decision really about either one i think you want to hold on to them both um but i'm going to actually clarify the king of swords to see like you know what you're thinking what are you what what is capricorn thinking about that king of swords i mean yeah capricorn's thinking about the sword the king or queen of swords so i say male or female the capricorn is thinking about this air sign but what about this air sign <laughs> and the knight of swords you're like thinking to yourself if they could just speed it the hell up that would be great because the knight of pentacles is like nope we're just tiptoeing through the woods where the knight of swords he charges with his you know he's jousting he charges he's just he's not tiptoeing through anything yeah because they're just kind of like being a little indifferent to offering love right now if this is two separate people uh, but you want so it's kind of like what's happening I feel for some of you is you want this person but this person wants you so you're stuck in the middle <laughs> waiting to see which is the better offer <laughs> I feel like for some of you now for those of you who are married I know I don't see cheating or anything like that going on or for those of you who are in relationships or whatever um, you could just be your partner is just like not opening up to you and or just isn't maybe they're busy with something else or they're starting a new project or a new creative thing in work or what have you and it's disrupting the home you know and and you want your partner back that kind of thing or you know just disrupting the relationship making it difficult to uh, communicate to each other the love and, and it's just going very slowly. Maybe they've been working on a project that's taken them away from home because the world card he is here and this could be uh, a, ca a card about long distance. Some of you could have a partner who's long distance right now. Um, but this is the card is also like either taking a trip or putting an end to um, a situation and starting a new chapter and here so the six of swords to clarify that so that's taking a trip or having long distance going to see someone or someone coming to see you that could be the king of cups it could be the king of swords but i do see there's going to be like some fun 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 some sex or something some passionate energy happening and so your attitude is you're going to be feeling quite positive about this whole situation here and your advice is to accept any offers that you get from whomever even if it's not the one you want to be with accept it anyway um, because someone could be offering something very nice for you they could come in as your knight in shining armor or if you're a male thinking of a female uh, you could be wanting, your advice could be to offer that to that person. Especially if there's been some difficulty in communicating love or if you're the, if you're the male um, Capricorn and you've been distant and your partner is just kind of like, hey, hello, don't forget me, don't forget we're involved in this kind of, you know, that we're here. You know, so the environment surrounding the other person 
is the emperor and the page of cups so the person you're dealing with is head of household <laughs> or is someone who's very stable very grounded um, firm foundation they run a tight ship and they want to offer their love and you'll hear from them you'll hear from this person for some it could be an Aries that's surrounding you but you will get messages of love from this person loving affectionate messages maybe they'll send you flowers if you're female or maybe um, if you're male you'll receive something from a female a water sign could be or an Aries maybe an invitation to go somewhere or to connect okay don't worry so much about the signs I, I try not to call them out I, I, for a little while I wasn't and everyone was really appreciative of that because it didn't confuse things so um, try to forget whatever signs I bring up it really you know who unless you're dealing with like unless you're a male or female and you're dating 12 different people at one time I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about right so your hopes and fears you have the ten of wands and this is coming across to me as a fear of having too much burden and a fear of not being able to release that you have a, you have a lot of pressure on you right now Capricorn for some reason something going on in your life that's causing extreme pressure like you're just having to climb up this very steep hill with everything on your back and you don't feel like you have much support in order to do this but you do uh, you're just feeling overwhelmed it, it's things like you're physically drained um, and you and you're fearing that you won't be able to break free but you will because look here's the fool the fool just steps off that cliff with everything's gone just goodbye Psh, gone not in a negative way no it's just letting go and having a new adventure having a new beginning so I feel like you're you will be doing that you have it in here and this is what you want but you just have to kind of like either close close the book on something that's been difficult in your past or actually make plans to go see someone or have someone see you or to connect with someone that you've been dealing with you need to make a connection with them you know this knight of cups being in the reverse i'm sorry being in the challenge position you know it's it's not in the reverse though so it's a, still a positive thing there could be an offer coming to you about a commitment or some type of um connecting with someone from now up until the first few weeks or sometime in january that could come through for you you know it's just a challenge because maybe you are at a distance from someone or maybe there's a distance or uh, a lack of communication with this person right now and so that causes uh, indifference or a lack of um, affection but again your advice is to stay positive and accept and offer love dates love to your partner back and forth just really just the overall energy is for you just to stay positive throughout this whole situation because you're ending with the lovers and the magician and that's wow your readings only at 13 minutes that's beautiful the lovers two people making a decision to be together boom so again my favorite saying a little blip in the radar I'm not seeing I don't see a break here like the six of swords I mean that looks sad <laughs> but it's not it's really just it's walking away from something negative and going into the light you know closing the chapter on something so closing the book on something even traveling so if it's been a situation that you've been involved with with someone where there's been a lack of affection or a lack of love or a lack of communication or communicating this that's coming to an end that's what I'm trying to say because there's th this opportunity you may you may be needing to be the one to take that first step especially if you have someone that's maybe working a lot or they're just not available you may need to actually open yourself up a little bit 
and share, you know, and begin to manifest this opportunity to come together with another person, male or female. If you're female and you don't want to do that, you know, it's possible that someone else could begin to manifest this with you, whichever way it goes. You know, I know, I know you want to hear something more concrete, but it, it's like both messages. You just have to kind of play it out. Either way, it's going, it's coming. They're both major arcana. At least that's the, the outcome for the reading. There's an opportunity here for a new beginning to make some magic. And you'll definitely be making magic with this, with the Ace of Wands. This is what you want. I think you're, you might be missing connecting with your partner. Or just in life in general, you're missing connecting with someone, maybe in a physical way. And, you know, you may just have hit a dry spell in your dating life. And, and so now it's going to start picking up. That's how I feel. With, um, you might have a couple of different suitors. I feel like, you know, if this... So if you have um, this King of Cups coming in for you, this uh, water sign, I feel like this person will be very generous to you. Really take care of your needs and your emotional needs. You might still decide to stay single because you're probably crazy about this King of Swords. And I don't mean that you're married to the king of swords and you're going to have an affair <laughs> i'm not saying that and i'm not not saying that um but i just feel like this king of cups if you're so if you're involved with the king of swords or at least to the extent where it's not exclusive but you want it to be you might have this person come in and kind of give you that that generosity that you're looking for that that affection and that love is someone that come in and help you you might date that person for a little bit because i see you you know as i said the two of pentacles just kind of like juggling a little bit but i see you staying single i feel like your your interest is this person so you know whomever that could be if you've got two different people going on or if you're just focused only on this air sign i don't know be careful of this water sign because he's gonna try to you know take you away from being with anyone else but him or her and if that's something that you want well then you know you go for it you have to decide but there is going to be uh coming together here I feel like that and I have to tell you <laughs> so weird the way I just talked but look do you see the similarities with the wings do you see similarities here with the wings no wings on the king of cups so this king of cups might just be someone who just comes in uh, nothing serious, but while you're waiting for something else to happen, I feel like the uh, lovers is going to happen with the King of Swords. Oops. I can't get it together. <laughs> Hello. There you go. I feel like that's that's what's going to occur. That's where the manifestation is going to happen. Okay, this is my last reading for the day. And I think I did about 18 of them today. And I'm going to call it quits now. But if you guys would like another uh, more clarification on anything that may have resonated here, any messages you may have received, do reach out to me on my website, moonpytarot.com, or contact me on the Instinct Go app, and I can... I'll get right back to you on that. All right. Have a wonderful rest of January, and I will see you guys in February. All right. Take care. Bye.